Well, hello there. Welcome in. I hope you're having a great day. It is Sunday morning here and I'm so glad to be home. I just got home last night from visiting my daughter at the beach for Thanksgiving. I had a wonderful time. I love seeing my daughter. I love spending time with her, but I also love to come home. So I'm happy to be here. I'm actually having my morning coffee right now, which for me lasts several hours. Based on what I have planned today, I don't think I'm gonna get out of my jammies very much. I am gonna put on my workout clothes for a little bit because I'm gonna do a little at-home workout. And there's a few things that I'm gonna do today that I thought you guys might like to come along with me. First of all, I've started a batch of my broccoli cheddar soup, and I mentioned that in my monthly favorites for November, and so many of you asked me for the recipe. Well, I don't really have a recipe, but I'll definitely walk you through how I do it. I started it last night and I'm continuing to cook it today and I'll finish it up today and kind of go over how I put together my broccoli cheddar soup. It is so delicious and so good. Also today, I've gotten a few skincare items in PR and I don't know anything about either one of them. One is a facial treatment and one is a little cleansing tool. So I'm going to be using those today and you guys can join in. I don't know anything about them, so we'll be learning about them together. So make yourself cozy. I hope you've got something fun to drink, like a cup of coffee or maybe some tea, and let's hop into the day. I went ahead and did my nails last night after I got home. I took a hot bath first off. It was so cold in here. I think my house was 51 degrees because I had turned the heat off while I was gone. So I took a hot bath and then I filed my nails and I used this new product. I had been talking with you guys about trying to find something that will help the nail polish stay on my nails because my nail beds, my polish just sometimes will peel right off. And so many of you suggested this Orly Bonder, and it says rubberized base coat. So I went ahead and ordered it, and I'd used it last night for the first time. So we'll see how long this particular polish lasts on my nails. And you can see my cat needs to be right in the middle of everything. For color, I used the OPI, and this is blues for red. And I just think that's such a pretty color for the winter months. It's just a deep, deep, really luscious red. And for the top coat, I had picked up this Essie Platinum Finishing Coat or Top Coat. So I went ahead and used that. So I did my nails last night, that was Saturday night. I'll keep you guys posted on how long the polish lasted with this rubberized base coat and this top coat. I am interested in trying at-home gel nails, and I'm looking at a couple of kits right now. That's going to be my next exploration. I'm trying to find a nail process that will help my nails last a long time, have them look good for a long time with minimal effort, I, aren't we all? And I do think that I want it to be something that I can do at home. So for this week, this is what I'm trying, and then I think I'm going to move on to a gel polish solution after this. On my way home last night, I stopped at the store and picked up everything for broccoli cheddar soup and I started making it as soon as I got home and I thought I'd share with you guys how I do it because so many of you asked me for the recipe. I had shared that I love making broccoli cheddar soup in my November favorites and I found this chicken broth, it's called Zoop, that really just sends it over the edge. I've already made this soup and I'm going to be finishing it up this morning. I did throw out the jar of chicken broth, but I'll go ahead and put a picture up so that you guys can see it. If you can't find this in your local market, you can get it off of Amazon. So here's the deal with my soup. I really don't have a recipe. I just sort of throw things together and sometimes it depends on what I have on hand. But I'll give you the breakdown of pretty much what I put in it every time and it'll be super easy for you to do this yourself. The very first thing is that I chop up at least one onion. Last night, I chopped up a whole onion and half of an onion that I had in the refrigerator and I just wanted to use it. 
I'll saute the onions with about five or six cloves of minced garlic in my big cast iron pan until the onions have sort of a brown crispy edge on them and they're very very translucent so those sugars in the onions really come out. I'll throw that into the crock pot where I already have the chicken broth heated up. The next thing that I do is I take a whole bunch of broccoli and I just chop it into big chunks. Yesterday I probably used gosh three and a half broccoli crowns big broccoli crown because I like a lot of broccoli in my soup it gives it a thick rich texture and it also just adds all the nutrients from the broccoli another thing I add is a couple of big handfuls of spinach I started doing this when I had some extra spinach in the refrigerator and I didn't want it to go bad and I was making soup so I just threw the spinach in there so I could use the spinach I've started doing this on the regular now because of the added nutrients of the spinach it doesn't seem to affect the taste of the soup and I really like having the additional vitamins and minerals that I get from this spinach. If you look in here you'll see there's big chunks of broccoli in here and I just cook it until that broccoli is really really tender because I'm going to take an immersion blender and just blend it all in together. While this is cooking I'll add about four to five tablespoons of cream cheese and I just cut it up into little chunks and throw it right in there and just let it melt down. Salt and pepper and then of course cheddar cheese. I use a full medium block of the Tillamook sharp cheddar cheese. I like my soup to be very very flavorful which is why I use so much garlic and so much cheese in it because I like a real rich flavor. In addition if I have a lot of broccoli in my crock pot and I add more water in order to cook it I'll add some additional chicken flavored better than bouillon. I keep this in my refrigerator all the time it's really a great easy flavor enhancer. Now that the soup's been cooking for a long time and that broccoli is really really soft I'm going to take my immersion blender and I'm just going to blend the whole thing up so it's really a smooth creamy soup. I just got this blender when I moved into this new place. I'm liking it a lot. It's from Betty Crocker. I think I either got it at Walmart or Amazon. I'm not really sure but if I can find a link to it I'll list it down below. Now that that soup's all blended up you can see it's just a real thick yummy creamy soup. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to let it cook for probably another couple of hours just on the low setting with the lid off so it'll reduce down some of the liquid in the soup which will make it a little bit richer and a little bit thicker and enhance the flavor of the soup. I just finished doing my mild lift microcurrent device and I actually have the probes and the gloves with this device. I prefer using the gloves because I can just sit there and watch a YouTube video while I do it and I don't need any gel for the gloves so I'm really appreciating this. I'm going to be doing a full video on the mild lift. I used to use the new face you guys know that. I'm using the mild lift now just because it suits me better in some ways. I think both the new face and the Maya Lift are great. Each one is perfect for some people. I'll be doing more about the Maya Lift in the coming weeks and let you guys know why I chose it and why I like it. The skincare treatment I'm going to be doing today I really don't know anything about other than the fact that I've spent some time researching the concept behind it. This is from a company called Alaxin and it's their PLLA mask. They sent this to me and it is kind of interesting so I wanted to bring you guys in on it today. PLLA is polyalactic acid and that is a manufactured stem cell product. And it's the same thing they use in liquid sutures or when you go have threads done or you DIY it at home. That's the product that's in those sutures. And they also make liquid sutures out of the PLLA as well, the polyalactic acid. What the PLLA does is it really tightens the skin and diminishes the look of wrinkles. So how does it do that? Well it produces collagen which a lot of things do and apparently they now actually have a PLLA mist which is a very fine mist that you can spray over your face and what it does is it attaches to the hair follicle and binds to it and then signals your skin to start producing collagen. 
So it's kind of this whole little interesting process of making your skin look a little bit more useful and really encouraging your skin to produce more collagen. This particular mask, and I really didn't know it was a mask until I did some research on it. It contains niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, peptides, and adenosine, which I am really a fan of adenosine. That is a portion of ATP, which is adenosine triphosphate. It's this energy burst that encourages your skin to produce more collagen and elastin. And that's a lot of what happens during red light treatment. It's all about this process of creating the energy within your skin and the basic ingredients within your skin to produce more collagen and elastin. Apparently this treatment is a several week treatment. I think that there's eight treatments in here and you're supposed to use it for like eight weeks in a row and see phenomenal results. Well, I took before pictures of my skin. I'm gonna do the first treatment today and then I'll continue on and do it and we'll kind of compare the before and after pictures and see what happens. I don't know if anything's gonna happen or not, but at least we'll have the photo documentation to take a look. Here's what the kit looks like when you open it up. There are, looks like there's about eight or nine masks in here. And then these little ampules, which I think is the actual PLLA product, a brush, and this little spray you spray on your face after you put the mask on. Apparently it adheres everything to your face. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put my hair back. One of these is supposed to last for three treatments, so I'll try to do my best to use a third of the bottle all over my face and down my neck. So just put a little bit on and use the brush to kind of spread it around. The serum feels very light. It just actually feels like a regular serum. There's nothing different about the way it feels on the skin. Okay, so I have that serum all worked in. Now I'm gonna put the mask on my face. And apparently it comes in three sections, two for your face and one for your neck. So this is what it looks like when it comes out of a little package. Okay, so that's pretty clear. I think I know where that goes. Okay, so it's kind of sticking to the face, so it's easy to put on. It's not like falling off before I missed it. Okay, that's pretty clear. And then this one is for the neck, just a rectangle. And then you take the mist and you mist. Oh, okay. So it kind of makes that mass sort of sink into your skin. And I'm just gonna very gently kind of tap it down. <laughs> So I leave this on for 20 or 30 minutes. I'll probably leave it on for 30 minutes and I'll be right back. Okay, it's been about 30 minutes and I can hardly talk, this has gotten so tight. So I'm just gonna peel this off. That spray really did adhere this mask well. Kinda feels like a second skin coming off. All right, there we have it. I'm gonna wash my face now and do a little bit of skincare. Oh, oh my gosh, that's so good. <laughs> this is a little device I got in PR. <laughs> Isn't it cute? It's called the Melody Susie. I don't know you guys, I've never used anything like this, but it is kind of cute. This is obviously an Asian beauty brand. I'm not sure if it's J Beauty or K Beauty, but it is pretty darn cute. So this is a little facial cleansing device and it sits in this little case here on your counter. And then it has these nubbies on the back and it looks like a little cat paw, clearly. And you turn it on and it has a heat function, and you can see the heat function just went on there. And it also has a vibrate function. So you can probably hear it a little bit, but it vibrates at different speeds, and you can choose the speed. I think there's like five different ones. 
and you run this over your face and you wash your face with it. I am not familiar with these devices. I know there's a few of them out on the market. Clearly this one is, you know, kind of cute and a little bit gimmicky, but boy, gosh, I can sure feel that heat coming off of that already. So I'm going to go ahead and wash my face with this. This might be a really cute idea for someone who's younger and has acne problems or is just not real compliant with watching their face. It's sort of a cute way to <laughs> encourage them to do it. It's a sweet little device. It's fairly ergonomic in my hand. So we'll check it out and see how it goes. The day is winding down and I'm getting ready for my bath. I've really been enjoying this Dr. Teal's Epsom salts with the lavender in it. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It's just lovely. It makes the bath so much more delicious. Well, I think I did it. I actually spent the whole day in my pajamas, which is fine by me. It was just a cozy, fun day at home. Of course, I did work out a little bit, but boy, back into my jammies after that. Thank you so much for joining me for this little day around the house. I hope you enjoyed it. I really appreciate you stopping by.